Yeah. Hi, hello everyone. This is Shanmugaraj. Welcome to Agile Biz Leaders. It is an initiative to build a global knowledge sharing platform in the domains of leadership, agile and project management. You can join me and help me with that either by subscribing to this channel or sharing my videos to our friends who are in need of it, right? So having said that, let us get into today's video. Currently, we're discussing some of the leadership ideas from MID's Loans Bluff Management. Today's topic is artificial intelligence. Now it's everybody's business. So this particular article has been published in July 29, last month. Why does it matter? A is a tool to get things done, to use it properly and generate value. Organizations need the right capabilities, including a good understanding of data. So let's get into the video. Artificial intelligence is getting all the buzz in the business world. But people often talk about doing AI without realizing that. It's just a tool for getting things done, right? So it's a costly and complex tool. Like any tool, it creates no value unless it is used properly. As per Barbara, who is a principal research, principal research scientist at MIT Center for Information Systems Research, A is uh, advanced data science and you need to have the right capabilities in order to work with it and manage it properly. In a new research briefing, Wigzoom and CIISR research fellow Cynthia outlined three principles for implementing A projects. They are build right capabilities, involve stakeholders from across the organization and focus on realizing the value, right? We are going to discuss these three principles in this video. An important theme that is linking these three principles is data monetization. Yeah, let's get some more details around it. A requires supercharged data monetization. What does it mean to us? In simple terms, data monetization is converting data into financial returns. Data sets could be sold to third parties, steady to, to improve processes, and are used to create new business opportunities. So that's the idea behind it, right? So seeing a return on investment from AI requires a supercharged data monetization strategy. Why? There is a significant cost involved with the infrastructure, capabilities, and the talent that is needed to get AI initiatives off the ground, right? And any enterprise that builds AI into a product, even if it is something relatively simple such as a customer service chatbot, right? It should, it should bear the associated legal and ethical responsibilities. So what we care about in the AA conversation is helping organizations embrace AA technology in a way that it improves financial health, right? So for example, many knowledge workers are using generative AI tools such as ChatGPT to write emails, create presentations, are pull key takeaways from meeting transcripts, right? But these conveniences should not be conflated with value, right? If you invest millions of dollars in the capability to use AI in a sustaining way, is email productivity going to drive millions of dollars in value? It may not, right? So you need to, you need to know what your company needs. So we talked about data monetization is the corner point 
that is consolidating the three principles what I'm going to talk about now. We also understood that data monetization along with value creation only going to help your company a lot. Let's see what are the three principles this research people are talking about. The first principle is invest in practices that build AI capabilities. Successful AI use depends on advanced capabilities in the data science, data management, and data platforms, and an acceptable data use. Right? So organization may be tempted to forego these investments if they purchase an off-the-shelf AI tool or have one custom built for them. But however, it's even more important for these organizations to build these capabilities to avoid running into trouble downstream. So you have to understand the technology enough to test it. You don't have to know exact way neural networks work, but you need to know how the data science uh, data scientists validate them, right? You need to know what you don't know. The second principle is try to involve all the stakeholders in the AI journey. The roles and titles differ among organizations, but the people who use AI tools, who develop products and offer solutions, should be considered the key stakeholders. Involving a variety of stakeholders and in initiatives can help those without a background in data science better understand what A can do, how, how much it costs, and how long it takes. Right? It, let's take a case of Australian taxation office where business users provided a regular feedback to data scientists about how A models were performing. So this helped all the stakeholders understand how A models made decisions. And it ensured that models had more positive benefits and fewer negative consequences. So after implementing the models, which predicted tax filing behaviors and offered nudges to citizens who needed to update work-related claims, the agency saw $74 million in changed claim amounts. The third and final principle is focus on realizing value from AI. In the book, Data is Everybody's Business, the authors spell out five steps in the value creation cycle. They explain them in the context of a common example in healthcare, predicting which patients in a hospital are at high risk of falling and intervening to prevent it from happening. The first step is data. This comes from multiple sources such as medical history from electronic health records and the current data from medical devices at the bedside. The second step is insight. So this is where A enters the picture to analyze the data assets and predict who faces a high risk of a fall. Preventable falls are frequently linked to worse outcomes and higher cost of care. Third step is action. So here, the insights inform changes to best practices. For example, a hospital may update its policies and send alerts to the nearest nurse when an at-risk patient starts to move to move in the bed, a sign that they may be trying to get up. The fourth step is value creation. In this scenario, new policies result in fewer preventable falls, increased passion satisfaction, and shorter passion stays, right? Shorter patient stays, right? The final step is value monetization. So this occurs when changes can be linked to a tangible value creation. 
it may manifest as a reduced cost of care, which benefits hospitals compensated under performance-based contracts. It could also mean that fewer staff members are needed in a given unit. So it is going to be a tough road from creation to monetization, right? So organizations need to plan out five steps of value creation before any AI project commences, right? So that will help executives to see exactly what it will take to achieve returns of investment. Monetization is the most difficult step. Many organizations get to value creation but are halted there. In a hospital, for example, additional revenue or reduced stopping cost may never materialize, right? You have to find a way to pay for this. Otherwise, you cannot sustain the investments and then you have to pull the plug. In most cases, an organization now has the building blocks, right? They have a data, inside and action, right? To take an additional AI projects down the road. But, and, and it has experience successfully selling AI to stakeholders by focusing on what it can get done, right? But without monetization, right? AI will end up being a tool that sits on a shelf. Right, you need to be talking about a along with specific initiatives and the outcomes you want to achieve using it, and those outcomes need to be compelling for your organization. Yeah, so with that, we'll come to the conclusion of uh, this particular video. Hope you guys got a better understanding how to go about implementing AI projects in your company. We talked about three important principles of implementing a projects right so we talked about involving all the stakeholders in the a journey we talked about getting the right data we talked about how do we travel in value creation cycle starting from getting the data converting that data into insights and actions and how do you go about in value creation and particularly data monetization, right? Value monetization. So that's a very tough task. A tough job to do as per the authors, the, the research authors are saying. Right now we can think of a scenarios in our companies and share our thoughts. How did you go about data monetization? What are the different strategies you followed in our company while you're implementing your successful business outcomes? by using AI projects, right? I hope you guys uh, I like this kind of videos that helps you to become better leader, right? So with that, I'm signing off. See you in next video.